Okay, so this morning I couldn't decide, so I just decided to have both green tea and Earl Grey tea. And oh my gosh, that Earl Grey stuff, it like has such a strong aroma. I haven't had it in like a long time, and now I remember that it has such a strong aroma, but I really love it, and it just tastes so much different than the average tea, so I loved it. And I usually have coffee, uh, as you guys noticed in my other What I Ate videos, but... I think I'm going to try to like balance it out a little bit, have coffee on some days, have tea on some days. I mean, I've always drank the two, but it seems like lately I've just been drinking a lot of coffee and I just don't like all the jittery, jitteriness or <laughs> jitteriness. <of what? laughs> Is that even a word? Anyway, I just don't like how jittery I get with coffee. I mean, some days it's okay, but other days it's like I probably should tone it down. So I'm going to try to balance both coffee and tea out this week and see how that goes. Okay, so I've had my tea and now I'm like super hyper for the day. <laughs> so I'm kind of hungry. It's about 12 o'clock and I didn't want anything super heavy, but I wanted something filling to start the day off with. So I'm going to start off with zero smart points and I'm having like a little small banana here, one orange, and then it's about a half of a English cucumber and I put a bunch of salt and pepper. Okay, scratch that. I didn't put a bunch of salt on it. I just lightly sprinkled it with salt, but I did drown it <laughs> in pepper. It looks like it got in some, uh, what do you call it, soot or chimney stuff. Whatever comes out of a chimney, it looks like it kind of rolled around in it. So this is my first meal of the day, zero smart points. Okay, so my next meal, guys, is a 10 smart point meal, and I was really craving some pasta, and I was craving something creamy, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to make this bow tie pasta with some cream of mushroom sauce. So what it is is about one and a fourth cup of bow tie pasta, and that's for six smart points, and that was one and a fourth cup dry, and I just used the Great Value brand, which is the Walmart brand, and then the cream of mushroom sauce, I used the Campbell's cream of mushroom, and for a half a cup, it's um, only four smart points. And then the broccoli, I used one cup of broccoli, and that's zero smart points. And then I threw some onions in there for zero smart points and added some pepper and a little bit of salt. But mm, you guys, I mean, I think this is going to cure my craving for the creamy pasta. And also, this is like a fairly large amount, so I'm pretty happy with spending 10 smart points for this pasta meal. So next I'm having this <laughs> random bag of sunflower seeds, Frito-Lay sunflower seeds. And you can have the entire bag for six smart points. And generally when I eat sunflower seeds, I don't finish the entire bag in one sitting. So I'll probably have like half of it right now and then eat the other half of it throughout the day. Okay, so for my next meal, guys, I'm having a sandwich. <laughs> and I... <laughs> Instead of bread, I'm using this Thomas's Everything Bagel Thin as bread instead. And it's three smart points for the bagel thin. And for the meat, it's one of those Budig 100 calorie deli meat packs. And it's for two smart points. And then I have one slice of Swiss cheese melted on top. And that's for three smart points. So the entire thing is eight smart points. Alright guys, so I'm finishing the night off with a 10 smart point snack and it's a Breckstone's Cottage Double in the strawberry flavor and a Planters Nutrition Men's Health Recommended Mix and the Cottage Doubles is 4 smart points and the Nut Mix is 6 smart points and I'm tired I must be getting old because I rise early and sleep early <laughs> well that's just how it is these days but I'm ready to have this snack and I'll stay up for a little bit longer doing social media stuff and then I'm just gonna crash guys.